Okay, so this is the question that all you guys from the video that sine of c is equal to 2, right? So the question is, how come negative ln of 2 plus minus square root of 3 is equal to plus minus ln of 2 plus square root of 3? It seems like I just kind of factor out the plus minus to the front of the ln. How is that even possible, isn't it? All right, here, let's go ahead and do that. We have two cases from the left-hand side, the plus and also the minus. So let me just write it down, all right? So here is case one. Let me bring down the minus, and then we have the ln, and then the inside we have two. For case one, let's put down the plus. So we have the plus only, and then of course we have the square root of three. And as you can see, negative ln of two plus square root of three is this part right here, right? So we are done with one of the part. This is it, because it matched with one of the part right here, okay? So this is pretty much checked by itself. Now here is the second case. Here we go, right here. Negative ln parentheses 2, and we have the minus right here, and then square root of 3, OK? This is 2 minus square root of 3 inside. This is definitely not the same as that. And maybe somehow we can make it the same. So here we go. Let's see how can we do that. First of all, we do notice that we have this negative in front of the ln, and this is technically like negative 1, right? So of course, we can take this and bring that to the top as the exponent, right? So in another word, we can look at this as ln, parentheses, and this is going to be, let me just write it down like this, 2 minus square root of 3, and then raised to the negative 1 power, okay? Negative 1 power means what? We can bring this down to the denominator, so we can write this down as ln of 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 instead. And now what? Well, here is just a usual algebra part, because we have uh, 2 minus square root of 3 in the denominator, rationalize the denominator then, right? So I can just go ahead, multiply the bottom and the top by 2 plus square root of 3, and likewise 2 plus square root of 3. That's the count you get, isn't it? Anyway, this is ln and on the bottom. Let's do this in your head. I know you can handle it. 2 minus square root 3 times 2 plus square root 3. This is a minus b times a plus b. So the result is going to be a squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, minus square root 3 squared, which is 3. 4 minus 3 is just 1, OK? And then on the top, we have 2 plus square root 3 times 1, which is just this. And now, of course, you see that this is just ln parentheses 2 plus square root of 3. That's the second case, right? So you see, this is the first one that we have. Let me just box this in red. Negative ln 2 plus square root of 3. And then the second one is positive ln of 2 plus square root of 3. So if you just combine these two together, of course, we can have the plus from here, right? This is the positive version and the minus from here, and then we have the ln, and then the inside are the same, which is 2 plus square root of 3. And this is exactly the right-hand side. So that's it.